Hey Jesse, I have your your golden panda here. Um, I think these are actually really cool. I I don't see them very often. Um, most people like the regular panda with the stainless case and the black and white tile. I actually think these are really cool. And again, I don't see them very often. The watch is clearly original. It's had a little bit of work done. This hand has been painted. Somebody really wasn't kind of knowing what they were doing, and I can certainly do better than that. Uh, these replacement hands aren't really available anymore. This is the wrong hand for this. Um, see how this is long? It goes right to the edge of the circle. See how this is short? They used another hand from something else. They kind of modded it to make it work. Um, I can see about potentially finding something better for you. I may have something better. I may have an original hand, but I don't know. It's something I'll have to look at. Um, cosmetically, the watch is okay. These plated cases tend to wear like crazy and yours is certainly worn here on the edges but when they're clean they look much better even with wear you'll be amazed how much things look better when they're clean dial is generally good you have a little bit of discoloration in your original loom me personally i would leave it um i wouldn't change it if you really want it reloomed we can talk about doing that i mean you have a little bit of discoloration here and i certainly can reloom this dial in these hands for you if you want that done um, it's running okay. Actually, it's original. Um, it's got some bead error. And the amplitude isn't great, but it's not terrible. Generally, it's good. Um, I can't really test the resetting because the buttons are so jacked up because of the bad seals, but... You know, 186 is certainly low. But you can see there's no noise, and there's no chatter, and there's even straight lines. And it indicates to me that generally the inside of the watch is going to be pretty okay. Unless I find something catastrophically bad when I open it, it's probably going to be just fine. It's going to be dry and dirty, and it's going to need cleaning, and it's going to need seals. It needs this hand replaced. It needs potentially relooming. Me, personally, I wouldn't do it. I would just leave it alone. And it definitely needs a crystal. I don't have the bracelet for this model. Uh, the bracelet and the end links for this model are very, very hard to find. Um, so you're going to have to come up with another option. But... Overall, I think you're very lucky to have gotten this watch. It's, it's a great watch. I think it's a very cool model. And, you know, for many, many years, the, these gold-plated models were, generally speaking, not just this kind, but all the gold models from the 70s and 80s were not in fashion. And more and more, actually, people really like them, and I think they're really cool. And these gold ones are a lot, in my mind, they're a lot rarer than the regular pandas. You just don't see them very often. Anyway, I think they're cool. You should definitely hold on to it and... You'll be happy with it when we get it all worked on. And it'll be a good runner when it's done. I mean, when we're seeing numbers like this with an unrestored original watch, it's, it's going to come out just fine. See, look, the numbers are numbers are constantly rising as, it were, as, it's, as it's warming up. So, I think it's okay. Alrighty.